Hi there, this is Lee. I'm going to just tell you today how to start yourself off on a Google site to make a website which you'll be able to use to collect evidence against the registered teacher criteria um, for your ePortfolio. So we're going to use Google Sites, so make sure that you're signed into Google with your um, Gmail and you can see that I've done that here on the top right hand side and from there um, I'll tell you about how to set it up initially and hopefully you'll be able to move forward and make your own site easily from these um, basic instructions. Just before I start um, telling you how to set up your site, it's a really useful thing to go into the TKI site um, enabling e-learning and have a look at the registered teacher criteria and e-learning. Um, I'm showing you that page now and um, when you go to that page you'll be able to see the registered teacher criteria uh, listed there, criteria 1 down to 12 and for each one when you click on it, so for the first one, um, how to engage, uh, you know, establish effective relationships with students etc they've got a whole lot of different um, examples that you could do that so that's a really useful tool to have a look at as you can see across the top for each criteria they have a whole lot of different e-learning tools that you could use um, so that's a really useful thing you will have your own evidence of course but um, refer to this page as well it's well worth it this video is to get you started on uh, collecting ev evidence against the registered teacher criteria. Um, we will start by hovering over the nine squares in the top right hand corner there and clicking on sites. Once you do that, you'll open up to a page and you may not have these um, sites like I have already done, but if you have, just ignore them. We're going to create a new one, so click on the create button. Now normally I would say start with a blank template because the, um, the templates generally are fixed sizes. But in this case we're going to browse the gallery for more and look for something in the school and education templates called Lee's RTC template. And click on the search and you will come up with the template to use. I've already made this and so we just select that and it is ready to go. So now we have the template up and this is the template that we want to use for our registered teacher criteria and each one of you will need to create your own site. So you're going to use the template. So go up to the top where it says use this template and click on that. At this point, you will need to name your site. I might call it um, Lee's Evidence um, and leave it like that, see if that will work. And I've got to type in the little word there. Hopefully that's it. And I'm going to create that. So it's creating the site, you can see up the top there, creating the site. And the site is a place in which to collect evidence. Okay, we've got that. So here's our site and this one of course is called, as you can see, Lee's Evidence up the top. So that makes it different from the template and makes it editable for you. So you'll be able to make adjustments to it. You'll be able to remove that picture if you want to. Um, you'll be able to do whatever you like. On the first page here, we have all of the criteria listed. Right down 1, down to um, 12. And they're just there to refer to in general, but you don't, probably won't need to go back to that overview page. So you can see I've set it up. Um, this one with the Pukeha more and more um, image in the background but you can change that later if you want to. Um, the first um, registered teacher criteria is about professional relationships 
and I'll start on this one by saying how to edit it. So this particular um, criteria says, I establish and maintain effective professional relationships focused on the learning and the well-being of Akona. So um, you're looking for relationships with Akona, teaching colleagues, support staff and other professionals, whānau. So you're looking for the kind of evidence that shows that you do um, have good relationships. So when you're ready to add something in, whether it be an image or some text or whatever, what you do is you go up to the top, um, edit the page and press on that pen and then you can see that this um, word processing kind of um, a ribbon across here is available so you can click in one of the boxes and you could pop in some text and I might like to say my evidence is here uh, I could also edit over here if I want to but I'm just going on this side of the table in this instance and I'm going to insert an image um, upload images I'm going to pick an image to upload and gosh I don't even know what I've got in here but I'll pick that one and it's uploading it it looks like quite a large image so it's probably going to take up a bit of space in my site in fact it might be too big even so it's still looking. right so that is the image that I'm going to choose um, and I'm going to say okay one there's what I want. What I want is a small one, not the original size. So I'm just going to pop it in there and it's a picture of me presenting at a conference. Um, so you can decide if you want it to the middle, to the right of that table, small, medium, large, and whether you want it to wrap around the text or not. So you can add images, you can also add all sorts of bits and pieces. If you have a look under the insert menu, there's images, links and so on. Um, as you get further down you, the, in your experience, you'll be able to add all of these different things here. Once you've finished editing your page, don't forget to press that save up the top right hand side and you will go back to the page that any, everyone will see. And what I'm going to do now is tell you how to add another page because it may be that you've got all 12 criteria there but you decided to add an extra page that perhaps had all of the readings that you had been looking at. So remember we used this one to edit the page and now we use this one next to it for a new page. So press the new page. And it's as simple as this. You've got to name your new page. And I'm going to assume that this is going to be readings that are related. And we're going to just choose a web page. Now, this time I'm going to change it to announcements. Because after each reading, then you can actually make a comment as well. And just create that page. Press on that red button. We're just waiting while it creates the page. And you'll see that it doesn't automatically pop up there in the headings. It is there. It's called readings that are related. And if you decide that you want to edit that page, that's simple. Go back to the pen again and add on what you need to. It will load the editor in and you can fill in the um, readings and you can keep on clicking new post, new post, new post every time you do a new reading and don't forget to save. Finally in this video I'm going to tell you how to add that page. Readings are related to the tabs mm -hmm. up there and then to make um, adjustments in terms of what you see on the page. Um, the layout and so on. So to add that extra page onto your um, lists, your um, horizontal navigation bar up here, and we'll make it number 13, what you do is you go to the settings wheel there, click on there and go to edit the site layout. This will open up and it's a little bit tricky so you have to pay attention. When you go up to the top, 
um, you will see that we have got the horizontal navigation on. We can turn that off if we want to, but I like to have the headings across the top. If you turn it off, you can have it on the sidebar instead. Um, now, to add to these ones here, you actually have to hover your mouse over that section on the horizontal navigation bar. Once you've done that, you can see it changes colour. And you can click straight in that blue part there. And what we're wanting to do is to add that page that we had on. We've already got those other pages up. We're just adding a page. And it's saying, what page do you want to add? And I'm just going to scroll down here. And none of them are actually called, oh yes, readings that are related is there. So I'm going to click on that. Sometimes you have to go to my recent changes to find that page. Mm -hmm. So we're clicking on that one there and we're saying OK. And then it's asking us where do we want to move it. I think we'll just leave it there because it's not um, one of the registered teacher criteria. We're not going to put number 13 on it. Um, we're just going to leave it there and here you can also change the look of your horizontal bar but at the moment we're just going to say OK. And we're just waiting for that to save and you can see it pops up there as the extra heading. So that's nice and easy and all you need to do now is make sure you close that part. And finally, as I said, just looking at how to manage the site and this is where you will change the appearance of your um, website. Now, if you scroll right down underneath themes and colours, you can click on there. Now, I've got a theme called Seafoam is there, but you can change that. There's lots of different themes if you want to. And for each thing, the site header, the content area, the content area gadgets, the sidebar gadgets, the horizontal navigation, you can change the color, the background, all sorts of things. So if I just looked at the um, content area, for example, all of these new titles will come up. The background color, um, the page title, the headers, the text. And you can click on any one of those and say, well, for the content area text, I want it at the moment it's following the theme, but I can change the size of it and so on. So there's lots of different alterations that you can do simply by going to that themes and colors. And when you've finished with that, just press save. We haven't actually had any savings there, but we can now go back to over there on the left hand side, lease registered teacher criteria. And here we are, we've got the heading that we put in there, readings that are related. There's a lot more to do on sites. You can make it as fancy or simple as you like, but it all takes time. And can I suggest that YouTube is a great way to go if you want to actually find out how to do things.